Hi guys, how are you doing? My name is Jasmine. I'm a freelance one-to-one -one and group exercise trainer from London. I work with brands such as Soho House and I'm pre and postnatally qualified. My workout for you guys today is a low impact glutes and abs burnout. Okay, so it's perfect for you to achieve at home, requires no equipment and very little space. Today's workout has two components. As I said, it's low impact, so there's no jumping involved. Perfect if you live in a flat, because you're not gonna get any noise complaints from jumping around and banging on people's ceilings, all right? So two sections, you got your glutes first, then you got your abs. We're gonna work for 40 seconds on, 20 seconds rest, in which time I'm gonna try and explain the next move movement for you. You've got six uh, sets for glutes, six sets for abs, and then if you want to, you're just free to kind of rewind this tape and go ahead and repeat these until you're cooked. So you can use this as a short blast or you can repeat this as a longer workout. All right, if you do want to ramp up that burn in intensity, you can grab one of these mini loop bands. We're just gonna pop it on above your knees, just like a pair of pants. And you can wear this for the duration of the workout, all right, including the abs part. Not essential if you don't have one, just if you want to add to that burn, add a little bit of resistance there. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. We're gonna start with a crab walk. So I want you to assume your lowest squat position with your chest up, and we're just gonna take four steps to the right, and four steps back. Trying not to stand up, obviously stand up and shake it out if you need to, but the aim is to really intensify that burn. Stay as low as you can for as long as you can. Ready to go in five seconds. Four, three, two, Let's go all the way down. Keep it nice and wide against that band. If you're not wearing a band, just imagine you're wearing a band. Push your knees out against that band. Create your own resistance. Keep your chest up and leading with your heels. You shouldn't feel any pressure in your toes here. Just that nice low squat walk and you're halfway. 20 seconds, guys. Stick with me, it should be burning by now. Whew. Coming down to that last 10. We got seven, six, five, four, three, two, and shake it out. All right, that's your first move down. Your second move, we're into a prisoner squat. So you're going hip width apart, push those knees out against the band, hands behind your head, squat and pulse at the bottom, drive up. Ready to go in less than five seconds. Four, three, two, and one, I'm dying already, I don't know about you. Squeeze those glutes at the top, drop it down with control and drive up through your heels after that pulse. Nice work guys, if you're not wearing a band, just imagine you are, push your knees out, drive up through your heels, knees tracking out over your toes. Just 15 seconds guys, try and keep that chest up. Get your bum down nice and low. Into your last 10. You got seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Shake it out. Your next movement, we're gonna ground that left foot to the floor and into a pivot squat. So you're never coming all the way up. 20 seconds each side. Take that last breath, get into position. We go three, two, and one, let's go. Keep that chest up, keep your core engaged, and you're keeping your left foot grounded to the floor here. Try not to stand up, super intense. Last 10 seconds on this side and we switch. Woo. And change sides. Nice work, guys. Right foot's grounded now, we're just pivoting with that left. That rest is coming, guys. I know this one burns. 10 seconds. Last five, four, three, two, and relax. Oh, that one is savage. All right, we're down to the mat for the next movement. Butterfly glute bridges. Soles of your feet together, nice and close to your bum. And we're just gonna drive hips up to the ceiling. We go three, two, let's go. Push your knees out against that band. If you're not wearing one, just let your knees drop out. Squeeze the soles of your feet together. 
This is all about feeling that contraction in the muscle. Don't rush through these reps. Keep that belly button pulled in. Nice, tight, engaged core. Try and tuck your tailbone underneath towards the ceiling. You're more than halfway here. Nice work team, well into that last 10. You've got five, four, three, two, and relax. Whew. All right, next movement. We've got a glute medius movement. So your shoulder is over your elbow here, knees together, feet together. And you're just gonna drive your bottom hip off the mat and abduct at the same time. We go three, two, and one. Lift and open. Lower it down, lift and open, lower it down. You should feel this start to burn in the underneath glute medius and the top glute medius. One set here, and then we're gonna change sides. Ooh, more than halfway. That is really burning for me already. So just opening out like a clam. Squeeze those glutes forward, last 10 seconds. Nice work team, you've got four, three, two, and relax. Whew. All right, switch sides. So you're going shoulder over your elbow, knees together, feet together, and we drive up from that side. We go five seconds, four, three, two, and one, let's go. Lower it down, kiss that mat, drive your hips up. Nice work guys, again this is not about rushing through those reps, it's about feeling those reps. Squeeze out against the band. Nice work, last 10 seconds, last three or four reps. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Well done guys, that is your glute section over and done with. We are into the abs. We're gonna start on our backs, on the mat, dead bug legs. The way I've arranged this is so that you are on your back, on your front, on your back, on your front. So you get a bit of a rest for your wrists, a little bit easier on the wrists, a little bit more interesting because you're getting up and down. All right, so your lower back is into that mat, We've got tabletop shins, flexed feet, so toes up to the ceiling. You can support your head here. And we're just slowly lowering one leg at a time, like a little dead bug. All right, good to go. In 10 seconds, into that 40 second dead bug legs. Feel free to support your head. We go five, four, three, two, let's go. Again, don't rush through these reps, just squeeze that lower back into the mat. Keep your core super tight and a big breath out with the effort. All about control. You don't want any space in that lower back. 15 seconds guys, you're way more than halfway. Into your last 10. Ooh. Six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Well done. All right, next exercise. We're taking it over into a high plank. Hold that high, take it down low, up, and a knee drive. Ready to go. Five, four, three, high plank, two, and one. Let's go, lower it down. Keep those glutes nice and tight, up to that high, knees in, and down. Drive up into that high, knees in, and down. And just keep on working, keep it under control. You wanna keep minimal movement in that plank. Make sure you're taking your bum with you when you change that level. 15 seconds. Last 10. 
We've got five, four, three, two, and relax. Whew. I am so hot right now, guys. Okay, next movement. Back onto your back. Tabletop legs again, flex feet. We're going for a clap behind the head and a reach up to your feet. We go four, three, two, clap and reach. Clap and reach. Clap and reach. Try and lift your shoulders slightly off the floor and reach as high up towards your toes as you can. Just that little movement, pushing your lower back into the mat, lifting your shoulders off. Don't forget to breathe. How long have we got? 15 seconds. Keep on pushing and keep those feet flexed. Chins up to the ceiling. Last five, four, three, two, and relax. Woo. Next exercise. You're gonna love me for this one. We've got a box of burpee, no jumping involved. Of course, if you want to, you can jump up into that high plank and stand and squeeze. That's all in two, one, let's go. Hands down, jump out into that high plank, up and squeeze. Really make sure you're engaging your core, squeezing your glutes at the top, coming all the way up. Nice work guys, you're over that halfway point, coming down to 15 seconds. Last 10, stick with it. Last three, two, and relax. Nice work guys. Next one, a classic down to a bicycle crunch. So this is all about lower back driving into that mat, opposite elbow hitting the outside of the opposite knee. Ready to go in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Opposite elbows hitting the opposite knee on the outside. Pushing that lower back into the mat. Don't rush through these. Try and get that rotation. You're gonna feel it more. Nice work guys, really stretching against that band if you're still wearing it. If it rides up, don't worry about it. Nice work guys, well into your last 10. You've got five, four, three, two, and relax. All right, we've got that one last move. It's a walkout. So we're starting from standing. Keep those legs nice and straight. Walking the hands all the way out on the floor to that high plank. Drop those hips and walk it back in. All right, last move, guys. Last move. We go two in one. Let's go. Last 40 seconds of work. You've come this far. You've done so well. Keep that core nice and tight. If you want to be crazy here, you can add a press up at the bottom. Oh, my hair's going crazy. Everything's going wild. We are nearly there. Over that halfway point. Stay with me, guys. Let's finish this together. Come into your last 10 seconds. Down to your last five, four, three, two. And relax. Well done, guys. Nice work. 